welcome back to the miniature treacherous world of grounded which has just got a huge update in the form of the shroom and doom update and actually gotten a ton of updates since the last time that we checked it out around a year ago when it initially launched into early access they've added tons of things new types of bugs creatures buildings and all sorts of jazz like that new areas to explore inside of the backyard and in this latest update mushroom buildings the brood mother boss and even the ability to tame some pets all some things that i'm super excited to check out along with everything that's kind of come to the game in the last year so to try and get the new kind of 2021 grounded experience we're actually going to be starting from scratch today but if y'all do want to go and kind of check out our shenanigans last year in the series that we had going there's going to be a link in the description and in the pinned comment to go ahead and check out our original grounded playlist and see the shenanigans that we got into but without further ado we got a fresh set of shenanigans awaiting us today and if this video can hit 500 likes the next part will be uploaded on the absolute asap so if y'all want to see some more of the survival adventure known as grounded show your love show your support for the series because without further ado there's some fun to be had and this ladies and gentlemen <laughs> can't be. is where the adventure begins this must be one of those us being those tv shows shrunken down the to the size elaborate realistic of bugs or we're on Tosh.0, oh, apparently, or whatever, freaking... Uh, no, we're actually on uh, impractical, impractical Jokers. Dude, it adds up. There's like five slot, four slots in there. Yeah, we got the whole gang, and I'm the new fifth guy. They're pranking me. <laughs> this is this is my initiation, yikes. But uh, anyways, check it out, folks. The miniature world that we need to traverse. Filled to the brim with all sorts of baseballs. Yeah, man, that must have been crazy. But... Uh, with all sorts of treacherous huh. bugs and creatures scattered yes, throughout starting to think this might not be a prank along with resources still gonna be famous though <laughs> that we gotta get an agent a publicist a sports car and our character has big dreams as y'all can tell he's, he's gonna become famous off this uh let's play series <laughs> But uh, yeah, we also have some stats in that bottom left hand corner that y'all can see that we do need to keep an eye on I hear bugs or something over here. I'm just gonna try to Collect some resources. Hopefully not get into too much trouble quite yet. It wants us to pop out over there and see what that's all about. Of course, crafting and base building being another big part of the game. Things that we will engage in. And hey, Finn! What's up, my dude? How are you? Oh, that thing's adorable, man. It's been a minute since I've seen you. Oh, hold up. We got a few mushrooms over here, too. This should actually serve <laughs> as some food. Don't mind if I go ahead and pick that to try to keep our life in check. I don't remember if, like... Dude, is that like a dog paw or something? Do you see this? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but uh, what's my call? Can I like drink this water? S yeah, I can slurp the nasty water. Problem is though, it's not purified, so I feel like that might be bad. We got some like sap over here, and right up ahead, we are catching wind of a signal. And if I recall correctly, this signal should actually be where a research station is going to be available, where we can research all of these kind of like different resources we picked up and learn crafting recipes and hey, get our hands on a little bit of food. That's some proper nutrition, right? Eh? All right, let's go and well, pop on over. Someone had to have set up all this. To the resource here. manager. Uh, but still, and let's get to exactly analyzing. Sure where this is and what is science. Woo! Got science. Looking around. Which we can use, I believe, uh, whatchamacall, later on in the game, we should actually come across this, like, robot that we can talk to. And we can spend our raw science to uh, unlock various recipes, blueprints, and... Uh, I think a few other things, too, I can't recall off the top of my head. But uh, as you all can see, we have used up our three kind of current charges for now. We've learned a few new recipes, including, like, workstations and stuff that we can craft up. But uh, we're not going to be able to get our next charge for about another 40 minutes in-game or something like that. You all can see, of course, the minutes kind of fly by a little bit on the quicker side of things. So, hokey dokey. With that, let's continue kind of harvesting up a ton of resources and uh, find some more evidence also, I'm not going to lie here. First off, can I chop this down? Nah, not with a rock, dude. I got to craft up a proper tool. Yeah? Analyze a pebblet. I got to analyze a pebblet? Dude. That's like the one thing I didn't analyze. So I got to wait for this thing. <laughs> oh, man. Really? I got to analyze the pebblet to learn how to craft a freaking axe first. So we got to wait for a few more minutes to pass by. Might as well use this. No. English is hard. <laughs> Might as well use this opportunity to go ahead and collect upon a few more things. All this grass and stuff kind of serves like the trees of the game, by the way. We can kind of like chop this down and use this for base building purposes. If I recall, this should also be, yeah, 
We got the little uh, little thing up ahead here, in the form of wow, this. What is that? The mysterious machine. Look at it. So mysterious. And we are going to press some buttons. Showtime. Buttons. <laughs> Just like laser tag. Oh, look at that. Never mind. We gotta go on. The other two lasers are blocked. Yeah, there are two block lasers. That build up this big mysterious computer doesn't do anything. We gotta chop down one of these things, which again is why we wanna which we call research this pebble. Let's go and do that. That should help us learn how to craft the axe, and then we'll be able to chop down that one leaf that is blocking that laser. And then we gotta go and see what's up with that boy over there. So let's trek our way. I'm back on this one. Also, of course, hopefully everyone out there is having an absolutely fan-freaking-tastic day of the most basic variety that does only keep on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that, does not matter to me how little bit of joy you can go ahead and make its way. It's your day today. I just crossed my fingers and indeed do. That's exactly what that joy do do. Because nothing else brings a smile on my face like knowing that hopefully I might be able to bring one to yours in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And how am I stuck? Oh, I was about to say, dude, how am I literally stuck? It's been like five minutes <laughs> already stuck in the game. Uh, but anyways, here we got a ton of our craft recipes, right? And here we have the Peblet X. We're gonna get some crude rope first, though. Boop! We can luckily craft that. Crude rope is some is just kind of like a resource to be crafted from other resources. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, oh, we can also get like a spear or something too. But nah, 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 nah. We want to go ahead and craft up the Peblet X. Beautiful. Why don't we go? Let's get a spear crafted up in here too. Uh, the hammer, a basic busting tool. All oh, that stuff busting. Necessary to pound large things, nice, into smaller, more portable particles. And then we got these spiky sprig. We got to find some needles and stuff. That seems like it's going to be a bit of a better weapon than the spear that we are rocking. But the spear does attack a little bit faster, so. I don't know, man. There's all sorts of positives and negatives that we got to consider and weigh. But we got our hands on the very most basic of tools now. So let's go and put these puppies to use. Mr. Leaf, I'm sorry to say your life comes to an end. Today, yeah. chop chop, mother trucker, chop chop. Oh, my stamina is actually getting really low. I gotta do something about that. Mm. Should I go and eat one of these granola bars? Yeah, let's have a little bit of granola, and then maybe try to get like some purified water instead of this nasty stuff. But timber, and there you go. Our first kind of tree that we have chopped down, and our first collection of uh, boop, 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 some grass planks. Definitely will be using that. Hello, aphids. Oh, can we go hunting? Hello, lads. Come on, come on. Come near Papa Star. <laughs> Where are you at? I want to throw this thing. Because fun fact, you can chuck this. Do I hear a fly buzzing around? I thought I heard something. All right, whatever. If we want to pick a fight, I imagine there's going to be a nice tussle and a bustle up ahead at this little laser thing. Of course, let's not forget that we've yet to encounter a spider. We gotta watch out for that. Those, of course, being kind of one of the deadlier enemies that we gotta worry about. Kind of hunter wanderers hunting and wandering around their turf. So uh, hopefully we don't end up too close to said turf. Until we want to, that is. But all right, let's pop on over here. Also, there might be some thistle needles. Yeah, those purple things are actually thistles. We should be able to walk over to that and collect some needles. But uh, check it out, check it out. Hello. We got some mites. Hold up. How do I throw this thing again? Can I throw this? I thought I used to be able to throw this thing. Or do I have to? Oh, I got to hold R. <gasps> la 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 la. <laughs> Woo! You dead as can be, mother trucker. Let's go. And we got a little bit of mite fuzz collecting our dead enemies. Beautiful. So this is the... Oh! Die, mite! Ah! Oh, my God. This thing attacks faster than I remember it. I love it. I can do so much stabbing in such a short amount of time. I don't even have to worry too much about. Yay! Oh no! No, no, no! Give me the spear back! Give me the spear back! Ah! Got him midair! Oh! He's got a friend! Give me my spear! Ah, don't kick the spear! Use it! With your hands! Of course, if this were a tougher enemy that I couldn't just repeatedly. Oh my goodness! Die! Yeah, throwing the spear is just 10 out of 10. If these were tougher enemies, we could also, of course, try to time our blocks right here with right clicks to actually decrease some of the incoming damage we would otherwise suffer. But uh, luckily for us, yeah. mites aren't really the most pressing foe <laughs> that we got to worry about. So I'm just going to continue impaling these dudes. Star, oh my god, this game is so easy. There is nothing but small little termites that you must defeat. Yeah. I wish it was that easy. Don't worry. 
there are uh, significantly more fun things awaiting us. Oh, there's actually a thistle way closer. I'm gonna probably gonna pop over to that after we finish up some of our shenanigans over spider. here. Oh, hey, baby! Kind Hello, of, baby spider. In a, in a I hope there aren't the bigger spiders anywhere. Yeah. Scary baby. Baby! Oh, he survived! Don't give that back! I need that spear to stab you! Nice! Oh, we got a little bit of web fiber from that. I hope mama doesn't come looking for me after that. Oh, we can go and take down. No, don't stab the grass! Stab the thing! It's not that hard. What you call? I also want to try and kill the weevil. Uh, thank you, thank you. To get a little bit of meat from that. Yes, this is bug meat. Star, what am I going to do with that? I'm going to eat it. Probably want to whip up a campfire or something first. But once that happens... <clears throat> oh, look at that. We've got a little bit of water up there. Hold up. Those are terrifying noises. Oh, more babies. Ow. Don't hurt me too much, baby. Do I want to, like, practice my block a little bit? Now, I did still suffer a little bit of damage from that. Even though I was blocking because it's kind of like... You can block more damage if you time your blocks better. So if you block right at the instant that the enemy actually attacks, you should block, I think, if not all, almost all of the incoming damage. It actually ends up being a very useful thing for when we're going up against uh, tougher enemies that do significantly more damage. There you go. And look at that. Oh, man, are you kidding me? I was about to say, there's some water up there. It just fell into the nasty water. That does nothing for us. Oh, look at this little guy. Hey, fella. How you doing? Ugh! Oh, no, I need that. Don't you go anywhere. Thank you. Just keeping an eye out. Don't want anything too deadly. These things, by the way, I gotta figure out how to freaking uh, tame one of these things. The aphids, technically, we can make our own. All right, though. Enough lowly gagging about. Let's uh, go down into this cavern here where this cable leads. Because there should be a few more mites. Oh, actually, I should craft. Uh, yeah, good point, good point, good point. Let's get to crafting. I'd like to get some bandages. Bandage. Do I know how to craft the band-aid yet? Yeah, there you go. Okay, beautiful. I got just enough sap for it. Bada bing, bada boom. I got their first bandage. I think it might not be a bad idea to... Where are you? Boop. Toss the thing over into the five slot. Use it. Start healing up a little bit. I mean, it is kind of like a little quest you have in that top left-hand corner. I'd love to drink that dew drop. However, that kind of backfired, so... It's not working too well. It's going to be kind of dark here. We could try to craft a torch. Do I have what I need to craft a torch? I need sap, crude rope, and dry ga gas, grass chunks. Oh my god, it is very dark. No worries, no worries though. Because there, if I recall, should be some glowy in the dark things up ahead. Yeah, there you go. Don't mind me just kind of angering everything within a five mile radius. Ah, I just want the glowy things. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Okay, actually, maybe this will work out. My little Yola run down in the caves might bring the termites. Nope, they're staying down there. All right. Well, uh, what I was saying, yeah, there you go. We can craft up one of these slime mold torches. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. We can go and toss that into our weekend, I right, think. Shadows. Beautiful. What you got now? And we can see a little bit instead of having to find all the resources for that torch, which honestly isn't even that many resources to begin with. We can kind of use nature to help us. I mean, we'd have to use nature to craft a torch anyway. But you know what I mean. This is more natural. Even more organic than ever before. Now, I think there's only termites down here. Yeet! Oh my god, why'd that go so far? Ah. I just gotta kill a few of your brethren. Don't mind me. Oh my god. Dude, my spear's actually on the brink of destruction. This is not good. Die! Alright, let's get that stamina back. I'm getting so thirsty, actually. This is, like, really not good. We really gotta go find a source of good water. But in the meantime, these guys do not even care that I'm, like, murdering their families. They're just like, nah, man, let me just nibble on this. Uh, if we get that hammer that I was looking at earlier, we should actually be able to break down some of these. But uh, that's something for another time. We shall return. These are objective. Initial objective here should be completed. And yeah, that thing just got hurt. You also gotta be careful. I don't know what time it is. Uh, okay, no, it's still like, it's like around noon. Nowhere close to nighttime yet. Bless up. Because when nighttime strikes, well, that's when the enemies get a little bit more feisty. Oh, there you go. There's a dew drop. Let's go. Let's go. Give me that. Oh, and actually, I'm going to chop this thing down. Okay. Maybe not. I have, like, literally a shred of stamina. I just want, like, a few of these leaves here. Just to have them, you know. I've watched my call. Hopefully, this droplet of water doesn't fall where it shouldn't. If that's cool. So, we just got to track that down. Boop. 
Hit it once. No, 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 no. Don't go. Mm. Whatever. I'll slurp the nasty water. What could possibly happen? I don't want to understate this, but this is bad. Dysentery. Woo! This is the Oregon Trail. It'd be GG, brother. Maybe this thing? If I, like, chop down this? It'll fall down somewhere nicer. There you go. Drink it. Woo! Whoa, Michonne, success. Yeah, look at that boy. Honestly, I'm just glad he's not big enough to squish me. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad dude, if I was even smaller. But yeah, that's just a worker ant. He shouldn't be too aggressive unless we get aggressive with him. I'll get aggressive with him soon. Don't worry. Hey, buddy. What's up? No worries, though. They will need to be murdered. We're going to need to use their bodies for tools and stuff like that. <laughs> Sounds so demented, but it's true. All right. Shake it, shake it. I want to pop on over here. Because I do see this little thistle thing. Okay, this thing is like super annoying. Like, freaking chop. Oh, ow. There you go. Parkour. Right? Oh, no. I just got to nab them right off. Okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought you had to chop them. I'm just going to try to nab as many needles as we can. These things we could use to actually craft a bow and arrow. And a few other things. But also that club that we saw. And I would not mind expanding a, a weapon arsenal. Ah! Get to the arsenal. A uh, little bit more. I'm literally, listen, man. Like, might as well. This stuff should, I think, respawn eventually. So I just like to get literally as much as possible now. And we can also chop this down also as like a resource. Uh, uh, good enough. I'm not going to lie. If I ever start getting hunted down by a spider, running on top of one of these plants, not the worst idea, man. Not the worst idea. All right, though. Oh, no. Ow. That parkour not go as well as I thought it might. More mushrooms, though. Thank you, thank you. Cheap little accessible food. I will take that. And all right. We have arrived. Well, re-arrived. We already arrived here before, but now we've arrived again. I'm surprised I'm not, like, being electrocuted stepping on this. Sounds very electrocuty. Why did I even come in here? Hold up. Let's get out of there. Oh, look at that little burrowing thing. I think we can lure that out if we wanted to. But uh, let's go and try to press the button again. And see what happens. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right? I feel like this will... Oh, look at that. The bumblebee. They added that a few updates ago. That wasn't a thing back when we were playing. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not, that's really not good. Are we sure that thing's not gonna like burn down? Did you hear something that sounded like a big far off explosion? I did. Who are you talking to, Max? Like, do you know that I'm controlling you? That I'm this like voice inside of your head? Look at the bumblebees. Do we, do we try to like attack one? Seems like a bad idea, but I like bad ideas. Maybe if it wanders a little bit closer. I wouldn't mind tussling. Let's be honest, that thing's probably gonna murder me. That's not a bumblebee there. Dude, those things are actually kind of big, too. Why don't we craft up another spear just to be ready? Yeah? Yeah. This one's already about to be destroyed anyway. Let's pop in the fresh one. Oh, we probably want to go and research a few of these things, too. And while we're at it... Uh, sun, it looks like it might be setting sometime soonish. Yeah, it's like 3.30. I mean, not soon, but... Not not soon. There's some scuttling. What is scuttling over here? No? And there's a, a few ants and stuff nearby too, but let's go back to the research station. Try to learn a few things. Then I think we kind of start building up our initial little base camp here. Again, we want to continue keeping an eye out. One of the telltale marks of a spider lurking nearby is seeing movement. Or maybe not necessarily even a spider, but definitely a larger insect. Is grass blades moving in the distance as if something big is moving through them. I know, crazy idea. But definitely something we kind of want to keep an eye out on. Very high tech notes. I see, I see. Resource analyzer. Beautiful. We got three more charges. Oh, let's get to analyzer. Hope oh, we find a few cool uh, things here. to craft up. Ooh, spike strip. We could use that as a defense for our base. Heck yeah, once we start building that up a little bit. A few of these webs from those baby spiders. Trust me, the real spiders are much bigger than the little babies. All I learned from that is a basketball hoop. Are you kidding me? That's it? Alright, whatever. Let's learn this mite fuzz. We got like 18 of it. We might be able to figure out something. Coin and nifty. 
Stuff the mite and fuzz on the rocks. Cool. What is that? We got a little weevil. Alright. Yeah, let's go and uh build up an initial shelter here. At least for night one before things get out of hand. Ah! Sorry. He did not qualify to be my pet. If he survived, maybe he would have. But uh, I don't just take any freaking fella for the job. Speaking of things, this is something we should be able to get to a little bit later on. The ice cap mints. These things are like some of the best resources in the game and help us craft some of the best tools and weapons in the game too. Unfortunately, we got to craft a very special hammer to harvest these things first. So that's definitely something we want to work towards. And definitely a reason we don't want to wander too far away from here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can always come back, I guess. Shouldn't be too worried, right? But all right. Let's chill up here for a second. Okay, let's chill down here for a second. And let's see what we want to craft up. An eye patch. A hat. Grub hide. Oh, we got to find some grubs and stuff. We might be able to craft this eye patch. It gives us actually more attack, but less damage resistance. I feel like I'm going to be taking a good chunk of damage here early on, so maybe I'll hold off on the minus damage resistance. But what I won't hold off on... And the arrows are alright. I want to get the freaking bow. So what I think we got to do first... Oh, silk rope. That'll come in handy. Uh, I think we want to craft up a workbench, yes? The roasting spit. Okay, we want to get some sprigs, dry grass chunks of uh, the lean-to. We can construct that now. Let's go. We'll build this and uh, put this down somewhere. Where exactly? You can't put it on this, unfortunately. It does need to be on some form of, like, real ground. Maybe I'll put it, like, under here. Yeah, beautiful. I feel like this is, like, a safe location, right? You know, if a spider comes knocking, I can just, uh, just crouch under here. Yeah, foolproof plan. Hello, Ant. How you doing? And then all we gotta do... Build it up. Let's use this thing. Set our respawn point, and we'll be able to fall asleep once it hits 8 o'clock. But nice, we got a respawn point now. So if and when we die, let's be honest, when we die, we're not just going to respawn back at the OG location. Now, I do think like various bugs and stuff will actually come here and try to like literally take down and disassemble our base and any construction we make. So we got to be a bit careful. Hey, don't you do what I think you're... Yeah, that's right. Keep walking. Watch where you're going. I'm walking it. I'm building it. Watch where you're going. All right, along with that, what are some other basic stations we want to build up here? Workstation, yeah. Grass planks, three of them. Sprigs and sap. Sure thing, man. Let's get to constructing this. We can... No, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to rotate this. I don't know why I pressed the completely wrong button. It was an accident, I swear. Uh, we'll put this uh, right over there. And we'll fill it up with whatever we got so far. A sprig. We got to get a few of those grass planks. Luckily, we got literally three of them from that kind of like first tree that we chopped down. And we'll build this puppy up. There we go. What else do we need? Sprigs and sap. Well, boop. Boop. Boop, boop. There are the sprigs. And then just a little bit of sap. Uh, we want to look for, like, tree branches and stuff like that. Usually that's where sap kind of hangs from. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Actually, hold up, hold up right here. Beautiful. One sip. Two sip. Also, some dried grass chunks might not be a bad idea. Is there any, like, dried grass nearby? That's the grass that looks like it's on his last limb. <laughs> Sorry, grass. Listen here. I will put you to good use here at the end of your life. Collect a few of these chunks. Thank you. Thank you. We got, uh... Oh, I can't chop this down until we get something a little bit better. That's a weed, man. That's actually makes for stronger material. But we got to craft a level 2 axe first. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Wait, what? Did I not just have to... Did I not grab a second sap? Did I get, like, sidetracked before I grabbed the second sap? I literally swear there was a second sap. Alright. Well, whatever. Boom. Sap. Boom. Sap. Boom. Sap. Alright. Take two. Let's get this thing crafted. How are we looking on time? So we got about an hour and a half before we can hopefully go to sleep. Still have not seen... The first, uh, spider... And from an initial survey of the land, I'm not seeing too much major grass movement or rustling. This is a relatively safe area to begin. But we don't necessarily like safe. Maybe for night one, but no worries. We're going to be YOLOing into the danger in no time flat. 
So, I mean, after all, we do gotta wear it. We gotta go investigate that tree. And let me just say, spoiler alert, last I remember, there's a lot of spiders by the tree. So, yeah, we got that to look forward to. All right, the wick bench. Oh, no, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay, yeah, that thing's crafted. Wait. Uh, any other buildings we want to craft up? Spinning wheel. You can spin various materials. That's not really, like, too urgent. Spike traps, trail markers. I think we got the basic stuff. Oh, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get this thing. A little fire pit here. Keep us toasty. Actually, I don't even think we can freeze. Unless that changed since the last time I played. But uh, they'll help us cook some food. I would like some cooked food. And of course, it's not just like little buildings and stuff that we can place. We can actually like build a base from scratch. Like with walls, doors, floors, foundations. Like we could build a castle if we wanted to. I will be king of the insect kingdom. I'm calling it now. But uh, what do we need? A few more sprigs? Yeah, I should try to... Definitely collect a good chunk of these. Oh, what is that down there? Look at that, look at that, look at here! A little bit of rogue science! science. Woo! Yeah, baby! Love to be collecting that. Alright, a few more sprigs, yeah? Boop. Boop. And we should be good to go. Marvelous. So we want to light this thing and cook it. You cook. You cook. And look at that. We got two pieces of meat on the fire. And a little humble hob. We got a little lean-to. A little workbench. And a little fire. Man, I'm feeling so cozy. I kind of like being miniature. You know, think about it. Like if I was living in like a New York studio apartment, that'd be like a mansion. That'd be like a billionaire mansion for me. You know, I feel like it helps us get a lot more bang for our buck with the resources we get. Oh, are you already done? Let's go. We got both of those. Now, this food can spoil and go bad. So what I'm going to go out and do here, right? Just I'm gonna like a fruit pounder. Eat it now. Get a little food in our belly. All right, we got to get some water. Oh, that's another thing we actually should probably craft up as well. We want to get a canteen to help us hold the vata. Also, can I go to sleep yet? No? Hey, right on time. I can't be the only one feeling tired. Yeah, exactly, man. Let's get some sleep. Let's get some rest. Rise and shine, baby. And it's the morning. Yet again. Oh, no, I don't want to light that. All right, well, whatever. It's lit. It's lit. Let's get uh, the canteen. We gotta, man, we got to get some grub hides, though. Mm -mm -mm. We got to go and find these things. Unfortunately for us, I think that entails an adventure to get our hands on some acorns, which is a resource we should be able to get over by that tree. Why do we need acorns? Because we need to craft the acorn shovel, which will then allow us to actually dig up the grubs. They're kind of, uh, we saw it a little bit earlier. I don't think I pointed it out, but I noticed it. They're kind of like the little things burrowing underground that you can sometimes see. Those are the grubs. And we're going to need them. What are you doing? No, 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 no. That's my sap. Yeah, that's right. What you gonna do about it, punk? Give me your lunch money. Give me your sap money. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't want I don't want I don't want any trouble. Okay. Go away. Still no toast in the distance. I'm not gonna lie. This is already going significantly better. Not to jinx things. Uh, than the first time around in the first series. <laughs> Dude, literally the first day. Not even the first night time. The first day. Already, I was starting. I was getting mugged by a spider. So definitely big improvement. Oh, look at that. The ant's going murder mode. He's going murdery. He wants to kill. We can chop these things down too. Any trouble, Ant. Nah, nah, he's not going to tussle with us unless we tussle with them. Do we want to tussle with them? No, no, we don't want to tussle with them. Until I craft up another weapon. <laughs> yeah, why not, males? That's freaky. Let's attack this thing. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, there's probably a lot of things that could possibly go wrong. I'm gonna need another sprig and a few crude ropes. All right, all right, all right. And where is the sprig? And let's craft up this spiky sprig. And we got our second weapon. Now, this is a battle that might require... I think here's the game plan. I'm gonna throw my spear, and then I'm gonna switch over to the sprig. Good plan? You hear me, Ant? You hear me? Yay! I think it's a good plan! Don't hurt me! Oh! 
So check it out. Like, if he's getting ready to attack. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We can time our blocks. Oh, and we can block the damage. We even stunned him with that block. Get wrecked. Scrub. Sorry, just got to throw back to my Halo days. I'll be collecting that. And then we got ant parts, baby. And as you can see, we just got a bunch of new ideas in that top right-hand corner. Ant parts will allow us to craft probably our first, like, decent set of armor. We can also craft armor, I think, from, like, grass and a few other resources. I hear something scuttling. What is that? Where is that? I, I heard, like, some major scuttles, and I don't see nothing scuttling. Guess I got those fleas flying around. And overall, man, I reckon to say a pretty successful first day in our new trek in the miniature world of Grounded. Let's go and actually uh, continue this tutorial really quickly. It is telling us to go and scan this thing. Might as well. But then, uh, we'll take things from there. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Definitely a series that I'm pretty excited to be restarting. And if y'all are excited too, make sure to hit that like button and let me know. As soon as this video hits 500 likes, part two, come in, do a Star Snipe channel near you. And all right. Oh, hold up. So I, I guess, okay, hold up. I'll just go ahead and analyze these things. I know the tutorial was telling us to scan like a clover leaf or something. I'll probably have to like chop one of those down. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and analyze these things on the lickety split and just try to learn some new recipes. English is hard. I'll learn some new recipes and stuff like that. Here, of course, is like some more of that building stuff. We will learn the kind of more building things as well. Oh, yeah, and that's the thing, too. I could have actually been building some of these workbenches and stuff from the building menu. But, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Wait, do I really not have like a clover leaf in my inventory? I guess not. I thought I grabbed some earlier, but I guess I already used them for a recipe. Regardless, with that said and with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I do believe that is going to go ahead and start bringing an end into the first part of our 2021 Grounded Adventure with the new Doom and Shroom, Shroom Doom, whatever order the update's name is. Doom, Shroom, Doom updates. With some major things to work towards and obviously that new Broodmother boss looking like the big kahuna we're going to be working towards. Not to mention some pets along the way. Aphid? I'll be claiming you soon enough, baby. I, don't, I think I can... Can I make you my pet too? I don't know. But that guy, you'll be my pet soon enough. I will figure out how to tame you. I will be the aphid man. But anyways, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. No, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.